Hello again, ladies and gentlemen, I'm Joe Hindi, the Android Authority App Guy, and it's about that time of the month to round up the best new Android apps that were released in September of 2017, and it was actually a pretty decent month. Be My Eyes is a volunteer app. It helps blind people with problems that are easily solved by people with normal vision. Here's how it works. Both blind and sighted people sign up for the service. Whenever a blind person needs help with something, they call the service and a sighted person answers to assist. It currently boasts around 50,000 blind people and 500,000 volunteers. However, the blind are encouraged to use the service as often as needed, so no amount of volunteers is too many. The app and the service are both entirely free. Direct Chat is a chat companion app. It doesn't send or receive messages on its own. However, it does allow the chat heads feature on almost any messaging service. There are a variety of customization options and they help prevent issues like overcrowding when a bunch of chat apps are present. It does seem to work fairly well, although there are a few bugs here and there. The free version does have advertising while the paid version is ad free along with some additional features. Google Assistant is a weird new app. It doesn't house Google Assistant or anything special like that. However, it does offer one tap access that inexplicably wasn't available before. The application works by opening Google Assistant as soon as you tap on the icon, as opposed to opening the Google app and then finding it there. And that's about all that the app does. It makes it easier to find and gives Assistant a proper spot on your home screen or your dock. Otherwise, it doesn't do anything else yet. Google Family Link is a new application for parents. The application shows parents what their kids are doing on their smartphones. Additionally, it gives parents a little more power over those smartphones and parents can do things like check usage, lock the phone, and monitor other vital stats. It's a real pain in the rear end to set it up. However, it does seem to work okay once it is. We recommend you keep this one on your radar at the very least. Lawn Chair Launcher is a new, free, open source launcher. It looks and feels a whole lot like Google's Pixel Launcher. That includes similar home screens, app drawers, and Google Now Access. The launcher also adds icon pack support, various customization options, adaptive icons for Android 7.0 and up, as well as a lot more. The application is in beta right now, and that means there are bugs. However, it still works rather well. It should also remain free in perpetuity. Facebook Messenger Lite isn't technically new, however, it is finally out in first world countries like the UK, US, Canada, and Ireland. This is great news because Facebook Messenger Lite is a lighter, easier, and more data-friendly alternative to the normal Facebook Messenger app. It rips out a lot of the useless features and bloat, and what's left is a basic experience with material design, chat functionality, and call support. It's also entirely free and highly recommended over the regular app. Microsoft Edge is the mobile version of Microsoft's desktop browser. It features all of the usual stuff like an incognito mode, browsing history, favorites, and other stuff. It can also sync to the PC version and also save things to read later. It is in beta right now, and that means that there are some features that aren't available and there are also some bugs. This one should be a pretty good browser once it's officially out. Microsoft Launcher is Microsoft's new launcher, obviously. It's a rebranding of Aero Launcher, but it's not just a flat rebranding. There are some new tricks here. The launcher removes Wonderlist support in favor of Microsoft's to-do list app. There is also a new newsfeed functionality along with some other smaller features. It's in beta right now, and there are a few bugs and some jumpiness to the launcher, but we expect it to improve a lot in the coming months. Movies Anywhere may be one of the most important applications released in 2017. It lets you watch movies from Amazon, iTunes, Google Play Movies, and Vudu. You simply log in with all of your various accounts and all of your movies are readily available in one spot. The application also comes with a decent UI, Chromecast support, and more. It's an essential application for movie fans, especially those who buy movies across multiple services. There are some bugs, but it is new, so that's to be expected. This is going to be a very big deal. Street Complete is a new crowdsource app for OpenStreetMap. The idea is actually pretty simple. The application asks you a bunch of questions about your immediate vicinity. You answer those questions, and those answers help OpenStreetMap improve. Some of the questions include things like speed limits for various streets, building addresses, park purposes, and a bunch of other stuff. The application is easy enough to use. However, you do need an OpenStreetMap account linked before it lets you answer any questions. And that about does it for this one, folks. If you want to check out any of these apps for yourself, you can find those links in the video description. And also, don't forget to click subscribe and ring the bell to get the latest Android Authority videos as soon as they come out. As always, thanks for watching, everybody, and have a wonderful day.